All right, guys, what's up? We have an introduction video. And then, first of all, shout out to Patreon. You guys, I, I needed a little kick in the butt to, you know, kind of do this project or this build. And then it's kind of it's kind of in the perfect timing. So let's, uh, I'll tell you the backstory on this. And what's going on right now is <laughs> I'm waiting for anodizing parts. Uh, it's just, we're playing the waiting game and then like Cerakoting, I'm doing research. Because I have like two customers who want Cerakote, but my guy kind of retired. So now I'm doing research on that. So it's kind of like a, like a, a lull for me right now. Uh, I want something to do. This guy, oh by the way, hey, if you're watching, uh, started working on the pencils. Then this is like one version. This is like a little bit, not as much blood. That this is like medium blood. The third one, I'm gonna put a bunch of blood in there. But I think it's, it's coming out pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, his um, the John. Like, see, I want to finish the John Wick project and Red Hawk project, but I can't because we're we're locked behind. I'm anodizing, which is like they said it's gonna take two weeks now because they told me like some machine went down or someone's missing. So I don't I don't know. But we'll see how that turns out so we'll move on here backstory on this is I've been trying to sell this forever uh, I bought this probably three four years ago I've been buying stuff over time I used to own a lot of ninth limbs and what happened is I, I at one point I just got fed up with them the problem is as a pistol primary person like if you use you know ninth limbs as your primary um, it just the mags are they suck all right, that's why I bought the extended mags because the extended mags make it easier to to uh, deal with. They just, they just have cooldown issue a lot faster than high campus, and it's just you know, it, 1911 is basically the same as the uh, the high kappa. Oh, just a, just a quick thing for you guys. Remember that you know, cause I always give you you know, it's either real steel people, real steel people, or airsoft people, and you know, they either one of them gets mad or they get annoyed, but. High Kappa is something that I think Tokyo Mari just made up, right? You have to remember, High Kappa isn't actually like a like a term or a word in the real steel world. The all right, let me just try to explain it quick. This is a 1911 with a double stack. Uh, some would call it wide body, but you know, wide body I would actually not call it wide body because that's a little different. Um, and then uh, the other commonly used term we use is 2011, but technically speaking, STI, trademark 2011, like the frame, it's, it's just the frame they trademarked, and that was like in 20, 2010, I don't know, I don't know if it was in 2011, I pick at the time, but what happened is they owned their trademark, and then their trademark name, or a trademark or copyright, I don't forget which one it is, but anyways, they ran out and that's when everyone else started making it and now I think they're actually recently uh, getting back, trying to get it back or something, but that's something you guys can look up, but I'm just trying to, you know, let you guys know, this is really a 1911 with a double stack, you know, it's just a wide, a full-size Mac. And it's not a, you know, in the real steel, it's not called a high cap, but that's one thing that people get confused or people get triggered by, but, you know, whatever, just ignore them. Uh, the funny thing is, real steel people should be supporting their softers, but that's not really the case because I've dealt with a lot of real steel, like uh, Cerakoters, um shops to try to do like small projects. And man, it's just so many of them have been uh, just rude to me or dismissed me. Not, you know, I'm polite as possible. And you know, the real the reality is they don't even realize that. You know, I don't talk about it much in this channel, but like I shoot real steel too, so I know how real steel works and all that stuff. It's just. Anytime they hear airsoft, they just dismiss it. They're, you know. All right, moving on. Anyways, I got tired of 1911s, and what happens when I get tired of something or that annoys me, I end up, I end up trying going through my whole garage and just, just you know jamming everything into a lot and trying to get it out. And that's this guy, and that's also the 226. I I just got tired of the 226. Uh, it's just you know it, it was annoying trying to find parts to uh, to repair it. The valve mount on the 226 would break, and the, at the only, at the time, Shooter Design would, was the only one that would make the steel valve knocker. And finding that in stock was a pain in the ass, and I just, I was like, shit, man, I'm over it. So that's, that's why you guys will see me from time to time just get, I'll get, you know, triggered, and I'm like, okay, I want it all out of my house. 
try to sell it. But uh, this was just this one was just too expensive. The the two two six is actually a steal. I, I think that one is actually a really good deal. This one is just you know too much, and I understand. This kit alone, six hundred dollars plus easy. Uh, these mags are you know they're super expensive, especially if you buy them in America. They're like sixty bucks, I think, sixty seventy dollars sometimes. <laughs> And then I got five of them, okay? So this is a, a big lot, and then we got all Nova parts here. So that's that's where we're at. And I was like, you know, I got some time right now. I got Patreon guys. I asked them that they said, you know, build it. And they said build it. So we're going to do it. And then I also, uh, I think this guy's actually winning. I, I'm letting them vote on the uh, grips because I'll show you this kit. By the way, everything is new in box. It's just this was open because I did it for the video for them. I did a little video. When I first bought this kit, I, you know, if this was 001, I probably would have, I probably would have kept it regardless, even if I didn't like 1911s. But uh, I unfortunately got, I lost, uh, you know, because I was waiting for this. I was like, okay, I'm going to try to buy the first one. Just, you know, buy, buy, buy. <laughs> and someone got, uh, someone got uh, 001. I got 003. So it's pretty low, but it's not 001. And that's what I wanted. Okay, so this is what their frame looks like. Yeah, actually, you know, we'll just show the other uh, what it, it is right now. Okay, there's that. Here's a slide. It's just a beautiful kit. It really is. I think it'll come out nice. The only thing I'd be, on, uh, be honest is I say I'm a little worried if this one will even, uh, you know, get attention or sell as fast. Obviously, this is going to be 1500 plus easy. All right, this is not it's not a cheap kit and then you know I have to build it now the, the thing I'm worried is this is sailing which isn't so hot the John Wick one when I put when I put that video up it got a lot of emails really fast so I wasn't you know building if I were to build another John Wick gun I wouldn't be worried but sailing we'll see this is still a nice kit the only thing that's an absolute pain in the ass is this kit does not come with a valve knocker or sear which absolutely pissed me off at the time so but we have a front sight and uh, all the all the parts for the, the grips okay yeah guide plug and then guide rod okay uh, we'll just put this back in and then the barrel is two piece I don't know if it feels like it's steel no it probably is still, but it just, you know, it's really heavy. Okay, let's zoom out. Let me show you the Nova parts. Okay, so far this group is warning. We, we got, I'm, I'm kind of voting on this one, and then I think we have two other guys voting on this. I haven't heard from the other guys yet, but I mean, just look, look at this. If we could get the sailing thing maybe in the middle of these, it would look cool, but... This looks boring. You know, this this pattern is like on every 911 I see, so that's it's just boring. And you put on this one, it's much cooler. It's more, you know, tactical looking, more mean looking. Look at that. And then this is the diamond, which is in, you know, he's in the second place, but I, I think I think our tactical one's winning. <laughs> Still looks good though. Much better than this sailing one. Jeez. And we're gonna, we're gonna, you know, obviously this is this introduction. I'm just showing the parts, but we're gonna build this and we'll get to see the journey of it. And there's probably some parts I want to buy. Where's the phone? That's my mom. Give me a second. Okay, I can decline because usually I want to answer because. Um, you know, there's there's issues, but I know she's okay. She just got the we have a physical therapist coming for her right now. But he should be done. All right, let's just move him. She calls me one more time, then I gotta answer it. All right, so we have this is probably one of the coolest pieces that I managed to pick up. Ignore that name. This is one I was trying to sell, but he never came to pick it up. So I should probably try to hide it. And I draw. I always try to keep everyone you know private. Okay. It's an ambidextrous 
1911 magazine release. Um, these are really cool. They're not very common. I'm a huge fan of ambidextrous stuff. I, I myself am ambidextrous. Uh, I actually made one for High Kappa, but it's 3D printed. I really want to make one in for a High Kappa. And I think, you know, eventually when I make my website and if I do good financially, I want to get someone, I'm probably asking, you know, I'll probably get someone to make um, a High Kappa version. I think it's really cool to have. But we'll see how this one works. It's been a while since I've installed one. These are kind of old, but they're actually really hard to find. Okay, here we have the Magwell. Let's just take this one out. This one's really, sh you know, really, it's really dirty. Can't tell, but I think this one will come out cool. I, I just, you know, the other thing we don't—I don't know if everything's gonna be dropping or not. Though, yeah, look at that. Nice. Heavy too. It's really heavy. Let's just see. cool yeah I like it okay so we have magwell these are for the the you know the grip panels the operator one is the one that's currently winning which one is that that's this guy that's the operator and the the diamond grip is the Costa style Costa style okay so let's put that and you can see obviously in the background we have a base up ground up uh, that one's everything in the unbox. Um, we definitely need it. I, you can see I have four base weights. Where's the bag for that? That really already annoys me because you can see I have six mags. So I, I kind of want to buy another set of these. These all. This is Ready Fighter. I'm probably going to buy another set. So with that being said, we're probably going to, if there's like some other Nova parts, I'll probably just, you know, put it in here because we're already like, 80% of the way there Next up we have the trigger very cool trigger. I, I, I was trying to figure out back then is this um, Who really created this design first and I, I could have sworn that um uh, What's his name did it back in the early 90s though for Ipsic because this design I've, I swear I've seen it before but you know, I think I'm probably I'd probably say sailing made it kind of popular, but still very cool We got a steel side so I stop strut thankfully their hammer comes with the sear i wish it came with the valve knocker because we don't have a steel valve knocker so that's something we're going to buy and then disconnector valve reset so because i want this uh, internals to be full steel like the the hammer housing doesn't come with it which is i think an absolute rip off you know for how much this kit costs they should have provided the internals like you know high caliber advanced frames they always come with the spring valve knocker and the uh, sear, those three, they always come with them. It's just been like that for years. And pfft, that sucker doesn't come with this. So I'm just, I'm incredibly pissed. So, but in the end we do need, I want, I want the base plates on all the mags. So base plates, uh, what do we need? Uh, disconnector, valve reset, valve knocker. So four parts so far I want to kind of get, uh, you can see we're going to have to, uh, Nova does have a titanium trigger bar, so I, you know, I could pick that up, but, you know, this video is just probably going to be like a, a feel out there. If, if no one expresses interest in this, we're just going to go with the stock TM and not put any more money, in, money into it and try to keep it low as possible because this is already Boku Bucks. Next up, we have lightweight blowback unit. Oh, that's, yeah, I want to I show this. You know, this is one thing I see people mess up on all the time. I've worked on a lot of guns, and I'm like, why do you have a 1911 uh, blowback unit? I mean, let me get the sight for you guys. Yeah. The 1911 blowback unit has this special cut in here, okay? If you are running a high cap, guys, and not to get confused, remember, high cap is this guy, wide body. The uppers will be different, somewhat. Uh, somewhat, they are pretty different, right? Usually the rear sights, okay, where's the rear sight? Where are you hiding, huh? Okay, rear sight's hiding here. You don't want this blowback unit because the 1911s, the rear sights take care of filling in that gap. And the problem is when people, you know, I, and the, there's, they, they were telling me, oh, I didn't want to wait for a high cap to get in stock or, you know, 
uh, impatient or uh, maybe they just didn't know. That's usually the response I get. Um, what happens is if you don't have, if you put this in a high cap, but sometimes the return spring will get chopped up and that just creates a lot of problems, okay? So do not buy this if you own a high cap, a, you know, a slide upper, basically a Bomar. If you, uh, it's not the DOR, I just, do I have a normal slider on you, buddy? Okay, oh, and that's not even a normal one. I was gonna show him, okay. Okay, here's Costa. So if you have this style of rear sight, this would be a high cap, okay? There's, you know, that's just, there's some, I don't think there's any 1911s that, okay, we're talking airsoft welds. So make sure you get the high cap of style blowback unit for this. So it should not have this cut. If you have a 1911 style, usually most of your sights will look like this. They look like 4.3s, but they're not 4.3s, okay? Here, let me show you how this actually fills it in. See? fills in that gap. This is what the 1911 will do different. That's why 1911s will have this cut. So if your slide came from a 1911 kit, okay, and it, you know, in airsoft world and they call it a 1911 kit or they, they don't call it high cap or something like that, make sure you get the right blowback in. That's, that's one thing. And then we have safeties, okay. I believe these were both um, Wilson's. But that's what you know they were running at the time so I tried you know match it theme wise as close as possible or at least you know look cool okay I think that's it for this video it's just an introduction and you know I'll probably get this video you know I'll, I'll post it today and then I'll give a couple couple days and see if anyone you know maybe express interest or anything I'll try to figure out a cost but just know that if you're actually looking at it just Easily 1500 plus, um, probably more than that easily. So just keep that in mind. It's just a, it's a rough number, but I would probably say, yeah, this is not cheap. That's why it's probably been here forever. You know, that's like 600 plus. These are expensive. You got five extendos. You got a full new box TM. Then you get all these parts. And then you, you guys know steel safeties, they add up really quick. Triggers. So this isn't cheap. Okay. What else can we talk about anything else? No, that's just an introduction. We're gonna see if, if I if I find someone that's interested and if they wanna you know put more parts in, then we'll we'll uh, I'll just update the next video. Hey, this guy wanted to get more parts. If not, then we're just gonna stick with this and I, I won't I'm not gonna spend any more money on this because I don't want any more I don't wanna be stuck with any more 1911 stuff in my my garage. Okay. Once again Thanks to you guys, Patreon. I mean, this will be fun for me to do, you know, while I have time uh, waiting for everybody else. <laughs> All right, take it easy.